আসসালামু আলাইকুম ডিয়ার স্টুডেন্টস আই এম মোহাম্মদ আব্দুল মালিক লেকচারার ইংলিশ কলেজ অফ এডুকেশন বিএড নর্থ আমানতগঞ্জ বরিশাল টুডে আই এম গোয়িং টু শেয়ার মাই আইডিয়াস অ্যাবাউট লেসন প্ল্যান আই থিঙ্ক অল অফ ইউ উইল হাইলি এনজয় মাই ক্লাস ওয়েলকাম টু my class today this is my introduction dear students please pay attention what do you see written on the screen read carefully a well plan is half done we all know that it's a well known proverb success of any work depends on pre plan proverb so think about it Can you tell me what I want to discuss now? Though I have already told you previously. I want to discuss lesson plan. What is lesson plan? What is the importance of lesson plan? How to make a good lesson plan? It is it. learning outcomes by the end of the students students you will be able to make a lesson plan manage your class effectively develop your professional skills it is so at first we should know what is a lesson plan dear students some of you know what is lesson plan but i am going to say what is lesson plan a lesson plan is an outline or configuration of teaching a particular lesson which the teacher prepares before teaching the lesson in the classroom have you understood dear students see more a lesson plan is a previously written document of some techniques methods or approaches applied by a teacher to make a particular lesson fruitful in the classroom success of teaching depends on a plan made by teacher before taking a class on a particular lesson dear students we all know that lesson plan is very important for a teacher to teach the teach his students fruitfully and successfully so we should know importance of lesson plan now we are going to know about the importance of lesson plan lp that means lesson plan gives a structure or framework to the class it is a record of what has been taught it gives confidence to a teacher 
it helps to plan for future lessons it helps a teacher to manage the class effectively it makes a lesson effective and interesting it guides a teacher to get, go ahead it guides a teacher to go ahead it helps a teacher to apply proper techniques methods or approaches it helps a teacher to use new ideas and information related to lesson it helps to develop professionalism professionalism of a teacher dear teachers all of you have known about the importance of lesson plan and we all should know that a lesson plan makes a teaching perfect in the classroom and a teacher can teach the students perfectly if he makes a lesson plan previously and he teaches if he teaches the students according to the lesson plan so we should uh, make lesson plan and use lesson plan in our class uh, so uh, we have no we have known about the importance of lesson plan next what are the main components or main elements of a lesson plan the first element is introduction the first element introduction so in introductory part there there should be some specific information of the class and institution and about the teacher dear students first you will write the name of your institution then teacher's name that means your name your names then your designation assistant teacher english and in the right side class section total students then subject suppose i am going to teach english for today so uh, before subject i have written english for today that means eft unit 3 lesson 3 lesson title international mother language day part one class duration 50 minutes date 29 june 2020 carefully see this picture carefully see this slide and uh, you can also write down the information the which things uh, should be included in the first uh, part that means introductory part dear students go ahead next part part number two aims aims of the class developing four skills of language english language that means listening speaking reading writing dear english teachers all of you know there are four skills in english language and both of them two skills are receptive and two skills are productive listening is receptive 
and reading is also receptive speaking is a productive skill writing is also a productive skill so uh, the aim of any english class is to develop the four skills of english language that means the students will be skilled experienced expert in listening speaking reading or writing after taking a class objectives that means learning outcomes objectives or learning outcomes so i am i have written the learning outcomes on the basis of unit 3 lesson 3 international mother language day part 1 so uh, look by the end of the lesson the ss that ss that means the students will be able to talk about any event or festival it's a speaking skill ask and answer the questions give opinion to logical sequence use some new words or phrases such as tribute a storm of protest gathering momentum climax etc find out a specific information dear students listen carefully learning outcomes or objectives must be written in action verbs talk ask give opinion use find out etc Dear students, you will have to remember that a teacher should not target more at more than two skills at a time in a class. If he or she wants to make his teaching successful. That means I want to say that every English teacher must aim at developing only two skills in a class. Among the two skills, one must be receptive and the another must be productive possible problem part number four possible problem in most of the cases the problem is time maintaining time Perhaps allotted time may not be enough. It is a possible problem. It may vary from teacher to teacher. In your lesson plan, point number five, you will write about the teaching aids related to your lesson. So we should know what is teaching aids tools or technology which are used by a teacher to support his teaching are called teaching aids such as textbook laptop projector pen drive etc next number six point Teaching materials. The materials derived from the teaching aids that have the actual target lesson in them are called teaching materials. Dear students, we should know what's the difference be between teaching aids and teaching materials. We know when we use teaching aids, then the teaching materials come out. That is the main difference. Point number seven, preparation. The first step, entrance into the classroom. Yes, smartly, every teacher should entrance, enter into the classroom smartly. Then class management or class arrangement. 
your students uh, may sit at sixes and sevens uh, or uh, irregularly. Uh, you should arrange the classroom according to your plan. And the naughty boys should be separated uh, in the classroom. They should uh, be given their uh, seats in different places of the classroom. Otherwise, if the naughty boys sit together, they will make a noise, they will disturb the class. So class management is a very, very important uh, part of a lesson plan. And every teacher, every successful teacher should uh, look about it and should uh, establish it in his class. Attendance. If you are the teacher of the first period, uh, attendance, attendance must be taken by you. Uh, so if it is necessary, you will take attendance. And there are uh, seven minutes allotted. Then, homework observation. You may ask anything about previous day's lesson to observe the uh, previous day's homework and the students will uh, show their homework. You can also see writing of the essays. Warm up. In warm up section, there are two works teacher's work and student's work. A teacher can show any text, related picture, or play a video or audio, or deliver short speech indirectly. That means keeping relation with the lesson. And the students will think about them and express their thoughts, ideas, and opinions correctly or incorrectly. Lesson declaration. There is two minutes allotted for this part. Teacher's work and student's work. In teacher's work, teacher will ask the students, can you tell me what I want to teach today? The students will express their ideas correctly or incorrectly. Then the teacher will declare the correct lesson title. Though some students will express their ideas incorrectly. And at that time, the students will correct themselves. Suppose the teacher has shown the picture of a Shahid Binar and sung a song, Amar Bhai Rakte Rano Ekushe February. Or the teacher has played a video or an audio related to the 21st February. Then most of the students will understand that the teacher is going to teach us about the International Mother Language Day. If the teacher asks them, most of them will answer correctly. This part will arise their previous ideas about international mother language day. Then the teacher will declare the lesson title in this way. International mother language day, unit three, lesson three. Then the teacher will present vocabulary in this way. Suppose tribute is a word. The students do not know its meaning. 
it's a new word to them. The teacher will show this word in this way. Tribute, honor, respect, homage. Then another word, a storm of protest, objection, movement, or speak right out. Then another gathering momentum to become intense or more serious. Climax, rise of action from the lower Okay. Dear students, I am sorry for the inconvenience because uh, there was an interruption in uh, power supply. That means load sharing in uh, most of the areas. I was uh, discussing about uh, vocabulary presentation and I also told you uh, a storm of protest, that means objection, movement, uh, speak right out, gathering momentum to become intense or more serious. Then, climax, rise of action from the lower to the upper. Then, defied, that means disobeyed. Dear students, the next part is skill development, 13 minutes. Here are targeted uh, to skills and speaking. Uh, in my previous slide, I told you that every teacher should aim at two skills, one receptive and another productive. So dear students, uh, here you see that reading skill is a receptive skill and speaking, it's a productive skill. In this section, Teacher will ask the students to read the text and to find out the answer to the MCQs or questions in section B. The students will read the text and try to understand it and find out the correct answer to the MCQs or questions. When this work will be going on, the teacher will help the students if it is necessary when the students will be reading the text. Then evaluation. Evaluation can be through asking MCQs, asking questions, sorting out information, Delivering a speech on international mother language, etc. Then the teacher will give homework. Homework, three minutes. Write summary of the text or write a paragraph on international mother language or answer the following questions. ATC. Then the teacher will depart from the class within two minutes, giving thanks, taking everything, leave the classroom. That means the teacher will leave the classroom. In this way, a teacher will prepare a lesson plan and he will take his class according to the lesson plan. 
Dear students, now I am going to show you a lesson plan, a demo of lesson plan. Wait only two minutes. Lesson plan. Dear students, you can ask me anything about 